Welcome to my demonstration video. We are going to see removal of brain and spinal cord from the cadaver. Here the cranial vault has been removed after breaking the skull along the margins of the scalp. Here are the dura mater flaps cut and reflected. Here is the brain surrounded by arachnoid matter and pia mater. On the back side of the skull, occipital bone has been removed and all the back muscles lying over the vertebral column have been removed after giving two paramedian skin incisions. What we are seeing here are the spinous processes of all the vertebrae and their laminae on either side of the spinous processes. The next step will be breaking the laminae of all the vertebrae on either side of spinous processes. Once the laminae are broken, spinous processes can be removed and the spinal cord surrounded by meninges will be visible. After the removal of spinous processes of all the vertebrae, the spinal dura mater can be traced within the vertebral canal till the sacrum. After detaching the dura mater from the cranial fossae and cutting all the spinal nerves on either side of spinal cord, the brain and the spinal cord surrounded by the meninges can be removed easily. What we are seeing here is the base of brain. Here is the brain stem which is continuous as spinal cord at the foramen magnum. Here is the brain, here is the brain stem and here is the spinal cord surrounded by the meninges after removing from the cadaver. Here the spinal dura mater is being cut to expose the spinal cord. Here is the spinal cord surrounded by arachnoid matter and pia matter. Here are the pairs of spinal nerves arising from the either side of the spinal cord throughout its length. Here is the termination of spinal cord in the form of a conical shaped conus medullaris. From there, the spinal pia mater continues as phylum terminale, which is surrounded by a bunch of spinal nerves known as corda equina. Thanks for watching this video. Keep learning.